I want to start off this conversation uh, with the big UN climate change conference in Glasgow kicking off this weekend. You know, it feels like this is a big one, this being the Biden administration's really first chance to show the United States position on climate with the administration's changing. Uh, and Sergey, you'll be there at the event. So I'm wondering what you're expecting out of that meeting that starts this weekend. Indeed, that's an extremely important conference. Uh, and uh, indeed, the expectations are high. And uh, my hope that uh, the United States uh, is going to be back on the table and it's going to show its leadership that they are back in Paris, they are committed to these targets, and hopefully they will have these solid plans uh, to show how they are going to achieve those announced targets of reduction 50 to 52% in 2030. And uh, as you might be aware, uh, well, currently, uh, the specific is lacking, uh, but we, it, it will be an interesting to see what the current administration is going to come up with uh, in order to justify uh, what they are going to do with, uh, to reach this target of emission reductions. Uh, it's not only about uh, uh, the U.S. leadership. Uh, Europe already is showing leadership if they are fit uh, for 55% uh, reduction uh, and to the climate neutrality goals uh, uh, by mid-century. Uh, but also China, uh, India, uh, other places are extremely important for the success uh, of this conference. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now, Sergey, as you mentioned, it's not just the United States that's the focus here. But what is interesting is that the heads of states of Russia and China, Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping, won't be there at the conference this weekend. How significant are Russia and China to these discussions, especially as that transition appears to be the majority of the case for the 197 or so countries that will be attending? Uh, not having those two nations there is kind of a big statement, is it not? Yes, it is. Uh, indeed, uh, especially China, uh, because China uh, is the largest emitter. And so the whole world is looking at how serious is China. And especially looking at the current energy crisis in China, well, I wouldn't show, call it crisis, I shouldn't, I shouldn't call it crisis, but a lot of challenges uh, with energy access in China. Uh, it will be very important to see uh, how they are going to go forward, uh, how they are going to stay committed to their declared target. Uh, as uh, you may be aware, uh, they have declared by, by 2060, it's going to be carbon neutral China. So in other words, all greenhouse gases are going to be eliminated or compensated, so net zero target. And extremely important for the rest of the world to make sure that China uh, is in uh, because, well, that's such a big player. Uh, Russia is extremely important as well. And uh, the uh, current situation with energy in Europe uh, uh, also suggests that uh, it's extremely important to have Russia on board uh, in, in these uh, negotiations and making sure that they are part of the solution. 